Right, integration by substitution. This is where we simplify a difficult part of the expression to make it easier to integrate, and we do various different things to um, allow that to happen. So I can only really show you this with examples. There's no general hard and fast rule, but there are steps to follow. So if you were trying to integrate this, now before you would have done it by reverse chain rule, but let's have a look at this as a, an easy example of integration by substitution. So first of all you make a substitution, you let u be 5x minus 1 and you put that into your integration. So we replace that 5x minus 1 with u. Now we can't integrate with respect to x because now we're in terms of u. So we need to do a little switching round here. So if we differentiate u, we get du by dx equals 5. If you rearrange that, then you'll get dx equals a fifth du. That's just you know normal rearranging of an equation. So from that du by dx equals a 5, rearranging that to be dx equals something. So now on that original integration, we can replace the dx with a fifth du. Now we can integrate with respect to u. So doing that integration, we get this answer. And then our final step is to put it back in terms of x, so that u replace it with the substitution that we made back in the first place. So the steps here were, first of all, to make a substitution. The second thing was to replace dx with an equivalent um, du. Then do the actual integration. And the fourth and final part is to um, replace that u at the end with x. It's put it all back in terms of x. Okay, another example. We're going to use the substitution of u equals 3x minus 2 because that's the complicated part of that expression. So now this becomes the integral of u to the minus half. Now replacing the dx we need to work out what that would be equivalent to in terms of u. So that would be a third du. Now if we integrate this we get 2u to the half over 3 and then replace our u with uh, the substitution we made at the beginning of 3x minus 2. Now we can rewrite this to be in the same form that the um, question was in, so that 3x minus 2 to the half we can write as a square root instead, uh, but that last step isn't strictly necessary. Okay, example number 3. Uh, this time we're told what substitution to use. Sometimes you'll be told in the question um, exactly what to substitute. Sometimes it's left to you to work out. Okay, so if we make that substitution, we end up with this. Now we need dx in terms of du. So rearranging, we get dx is equal to e to the u by du. Okay, now doing this integration, we have those e to the u's cancel out, uh, and ln of e of e to the u, ln and e cancel each other out. They're the um, inverse of each other, so we end up just with u du. So integrating that, we get u squared over two, and then replace the u with this substitution. Now the substitution we had wasn't in terms of u; it was um, that x was the subject. So we just need to rearrange that. So take log of both sides and you end up with u equals ln x. Okay, next one. Another type. So here we have, uh, we've been given our substitution again. So um, we're going to be able to, we're going to need to get uh, du from it. So if we uh, differentiate that, we get du by dx is 3x squared. Now you'll see that's part of the um, expression we're given to integrate. So rearranging, we get dx equals 1 over 3x squared du. Okay, now looking back at our um, original question, we make that substitution for x cubed plus 1. Uh, we replace dx with an equivalent in du. And then we tidy things up a little bit. So um, you should get things that cancel out with each other so that we can get rid of all the x terms because we can't integrate it whilst it's got x's in there. It has to all be changed to u's. So those 3x squareds cancel out, obviously, and then we're just integrating u to the 7 um, with respect to u. And that goes to um, u to the 8 over 8. And then we substitute back in our x cubed plus 3, uh, sorry, x cubed plus 1 as u to get our final answer.